the same like what a love at. Yeah, you showing love, but they don't show it back. Yeah, they ain't with you, that's why they act like that. Yeah, smiling your face, but talk behind your back. But you gotta understand that everybody ain't real. And most of them be fake. They only gon' come around just to eat off of your plate. And all I speak is facts, and only real gon' relate. Most these niggas gon' change, and all of that shit be fake. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Ken870. With Mama870. And we back with another video, man. Say, look, if you're new here, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell button up there because I am dropping videos every single day this week. Hey, do y'all like when we drop videos at night or daytime? Comment down below because I might drop this video right now. So comment down below. Today going to be a double upload today. We're doing a double upload today because of yesterday. I don't know what happened to the video yesterday. The video was 20 minutes and they cut it. YouTube cut it and they made it to five minutes without me knowing. So I didn't know the video was going to be five minutes because the video was 20 minutes. So I'm going to make it up to y'all. So we do a double upload for y'all today. Today, we do a double upload for y'all. Today, I'm gonna drop this one right now. See how I do. I did not drop another video tonight at 10. So, I know y'all read that title. Be sorry from yesterday. Go ahead and tell them, man. Be sorry from yesterday. That was on my head in the comments. Go ahead and tell them, man. We sorry from yesterday, guys. I'm dropping this one right now. I'm dropping the other one later on tonight. So, yeah, man. I know y'all read that title. If you get straight into it, hopefully, they won't block or copyright this video or split the video. I don't know. So, if they do do it, I'm still gonna upload it. So, we figure get straight into it, man. Well, we're not the chef you are, Robert. But we were thinking Robert gives so much to everybody else, so much to give back to him for a change. You know, I've often thought the same thing myself. Besides, somebody's been losing a little too much weight. You been hitting the gym? Well, a little. You know I do my tie bowl. <laughs> Wait a minute now. Stink me. Uh, he's running deep. Put Sarah. Let's run. Let's run. Let's run. Let's Grandpa gone. Grandpa gone, man. You <laughs> <laughs> A dream? Are you having a bad dream? Mm. He had a dream. <laughs> bad for y'all. I lived, you died. Uh, mm, mm, I lived, mm. and you died. I am the stone in the building. I'm going to skip this because copyright. I'm going to skip this part. Okay, they be going crazy with the copyrights. So oh, random. Day <laughs> Uncle Rick, I should have known that was him doing that. Should have known. Oh, hell no. Nah. What y'all want, nigga? Hurry up. Hang out all day. We're looking for a place called Woodcrest. Is this it? Maybe. Look, you want gas or not? We're looking for a man. Oh, yeah, I bet you are. You're looking for the number, man. Or the weed, man. Or the welfare, man. No, the man I'm looking for is named Freeman. Robert Freeman. 
Oh, hell no. I knew it. You related to Robert Freeman. So you know him. Yeah, I know him. But well, Woodcrest don't need no more colors. We got our colors for the field. So y'all can just get to stepping and get in that piece of car, turn it around and head it back up the road, Custody coon. Why don't you just tell me where Robert is before I put fire across your lip? You big black dummy. Yeah, start talking, you one-eyed, bitch-eyed fool. Hey, we ain't got no <laughs> night. Buffalo butt. I ain't scared of y'all, that crap of Negro. Come on. He always get beat up. Yo, always. Turn on the nose. The attack happened yesterday <laughs> at this gas station just outside of Woodcrest. The victim, a Mr. Uncle Ruckus, no relation, had this to say. Loud, there was three of them. Two black nigger men and one black nigger woman thought they each had big black lips, big black nostrils, and a big black attitude problem. Police have released this composite sketch of the attackers based on the victim's description. Yo, <laughs> how you get beat up by a gang of old people? That's <laughs> I ain't seen nothing that bad since Granddad got beat up by Steve Meaner. <laughs> Say it's about that fight. I'll probably kill a nigga too if they embarrass me like that. I kill a man in self defense. In defense of your ego, maybe. Well, just titte for him. He's dead and I'm going fishing. That's school, ain't it? I got it to school. If I ain't tripping. Excuse me, why? We here for Huey and Riley, a free man. Huey Freeman, please report to the front office. You know what's going on? They said our aunt and uncle came to pick us up. Aunt and uncle? <laughs> man, something's not right. Come on, let's go. Well, you should have known, man. Just how far away is that classroom? The moon? They should have been here by now. You know kids always lollygagging. It'll just be a second. Can I offer you some water? Yo, where we going? I don't know, but we getting out of here. Uh-oh. Well, well, well. We came a long way to kill y'all little nigglets. <laughs> now it's time for the big bonanza. All right, for the fight. <laughs> Yo. You see these two old ass niggas? Come on. Yo, why did you <laughs> Hey, them old niggas can jump. <laughs> Getting beat up, I thought. Fishing, fishing, I'm baiting this hook. Gonna catch me some fish today. That's the other man, I think. Huh? <laughs> How's it going? Oh, I think I might catch me a few more today. Fascinating creature of the crab. Got that hard exterior, but he ain't really dangerous. Except to another crab. Dumb as all hell. Can't even walk straight. Matter of fact, the only thing a crab is good for is holding back other crabs. A crab don't want to see another crab make it. Yeah, uh, I guess. Crab is like, if I'm gonna die, we all gonna die. I admire that. Mm hmm. We all gotta die sometimes. Might as well help each other get there. I mean, that's what you did to Steak Maynard. <gasps> Isn't that right, Robert Freeman? What's this? Beat up, bro.
damn bell to ring. Come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, girl, Pop. Mm. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> he went swimming, didn't he? Why, Lord, why? I can't believe it's happening again. Who are these people and where do they come from? Desperate for answers, we turn to the one place that might tell us what we need, Wikipedia. Okay, let's see here. Odin's line, worst human being ever, killed by Robert Freeman, came back from the dead. Wait, look at this. In his younger years, Colonel Stinkbeiner belonged to a crew of violent hoodlums known as the Hateocracy. Colonel H. Stinkbeiner. Give me this! Nigga, it's my story, not my boy Lord Rufus Grandmeister, Lady Esmeralda's right nasty, and Mr. George Christopherson, mad at the better pastures retirement home. Now, we hated each other right away, but we hated everyone else even more. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> 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 not again. Did her wrong. A9. Years later, in a street fight with Robert Freeman from Woodcrest. Hey, that, that's me! <laughs> Once notified of Stinkman's death, the surviving members of the Hateocracy reunited to enact revenge on the Freeman family. Oh, this is terrible! What did I do to deserve this? Uh, you killed a nigga? What that got to do with anything? Eventually, they're gonna find out where we live. Man, I uh, think we go man. out there and ride on these fools. Yes, let's kill them before they kill us. That's a plan that can't go wrong. What if it doesn't end there, Granddad? This could go on forever. I'm telling you, Granddad, I know exactly how to handle this. They want to go to war, I'll take them niggas to war. <laughs> Work. Well, at least you tried. Some people think we should just sit here and wait to be killed. Shoot. We need protection, <laughs> but there's only one person who can help us now. Yes? Uh, yeah. Is this Mr. Bushido Brown? Now, see, you done already messed up. My name is Grandmaster Bushido Brown. And if you ain't got no money, this is about to be a real short conversation, you dig? Uh, how was the flight, uh, Hold Mr. Up. Brown? First class was comfortable, I hope. Your time is running out. What's the job? There's some people out to get us. We need protection around the clock. Man, I work for people with real money. Judging from this place, y'all can't even afford Bushido Brown. We'll pay whatever it costs. How much gonna cost? How much is your life worth? No, see, I'm asking you how much your bodyguard services are gonna cost. And I'm asking you how much your life is worth, Jack. Bushido Brown services came with a whole lot of bulls. The first was that he got to sleep in Robert's bed. Robert the bitch mm. ass Freeman had to fly out two personal Chicken assistants, bed. a cook, and a spiritual advisor, all first class, all of whom stayed at their house. <laughs> Them niggas had to sleep in the living room. <laughs> The garage was converted into a workout room, which only Bushido Brown was allowed to use. He also required 1,200 thread count sheets, imported Wagyu Kobe beef from Japan, and a Tushiyoki Hands Riano cleaning toilet, all at Robert's expense. They found themselves in a f***ed up position of wishing my crew would try to whoop their asses even sooner. Attention, Laurent, your break is over. We need you. <laughs> 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 Came out of nowhere. 
Excuse me for a second. I have to use the latrine. No! Wait! Stop! It's only 30 seconds late. Dude, don't play. Series and the 1100 series is some bull. Well, they didn't have a 2200 series. That's your problem. You better have a replacement before I have to take it again. Well, what if I can't get the replacement in time? Hey, I don't care if you wipe it, but Bushido Brown don't wipe his own ass. Nigga, did you just <laughs> tell me to wipe your ass? That's it. You fired. You firing Bushido Brown? You heard me. You and all these raggedy you brought with to get the on. I'm sick of this. Now you do understand. There's no refunds for early termination on our... Whatever, team. nigga. Beat it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Need him now. Need him now. Wait. I changed my mind. Too late, old man. Too late. Now if you want to hire me again, I might be available. Okay, fine. For double the fee. Double the fee? But I've already paid you. Hey, this ain't a negotiation. Take it or leave it. If I was you, I'd take it. <laughs> okay, fine, damn it. I got a feeling he's gonna get beat up. I got a feeling he's gonna get beat up. That's what I'm thinking. The legendary Bushido Brown, the greatest black karate man to ever live. That's Grandmaster Bushido Brown. Of course it is. Come on, boy. Come on. I ain't scared of you. Excuse. If it wasn't you, we'd probably just pick someone random and ruin their life. 
Huh? Oh, come on. Well, now what? Now, <laughs> the police. Thank God for the police. I mean, uh, yeah, look at him. Who's Who called Popo? <laughs> You three are under arrest for your murder of Rashido Brown. Move it on, thank you. Oh, thank you. I can't believe somebody snitched. That's gay. These three won't be bothering you anymore. But why do you think they were after you guys specifically? It was a nigga moment. Oh, of course. A nigga moment. <laughs> well, there's only one way to end a nigga moment for good. Jail. Jail? Jail. <laughs> that makes sense. Jail. Isn't that great, Huey? Jail. Of course. What time? Oh, thank God for jail. Glad we could help. And that's the moral of the story. Some niggas just need to go to jail. I might be in hell, but at least I ain't in jail, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Let me out this car. I can't believe somebody snitch. Niggas is out here like running forces. Y'all can get off my property now. And make sure you clean his head and dickhead off my yard. And get that ass working toilet out of my house, too. Say, look, if you like that video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell button out there because I am dropping videos every single day this week, man. Man, that episode was crazy right there. Like, what you feel about it, mom? That was a crazy one, y'all. I don't know. Kind of scary. She said it was kind of scary, but it was funny to me, though. It was it, funny. Yeah, it was real funny, though. But look, though, man, hopefully YouTube don't block or copyright this video. Oh, no. YouTube cut the whole video. It didn't even show the part at the end. Like this right now, it didn't even show that part. So hopefully y'all can see this part. But yeah, man, like I said, it's a double upload today, man. I'm gonna drop this one right now and I'll drop another one tonight. So stay tuned, man. We see y'all later on, man. Peace. I'm out of my mind, I'm out of my head, I'm losing control. Why do they hit? I don't know. No, they mad I got something that they want. These haters won't leave me alone. No, but they won't knock me out of my zone. That's why I stay told in the chrome. It's how they kiss my cologne. I'm out of my mind, I'm out of my head, I'm losing control. Why do they hit? I don't know. No, they mad I got something that they want. These haters won't leave me alone. No, but they won't knock me out of my zone. That's why I stay told in the chrome. It's how they kiss my cologne. I'm out of my mind, I'm out of my head, I'm losing control. Why do they hit? I don't know. No, they mad I got something that they want. These haters won't leave me alone. No, but they won't knock me out of my zone. That's why I stay told in the chrome. It's how they kiss my cologne.